County Beach has got good water quality marks during dry conditions, giving residents a reason to feel good about going to the beach. Heal the Bay's Ryan Searcy says the return of drought-like conditions and efforts to control runoff get the credit. Mostly good news here for beachgoers. Um, again, uh, try to stay out of the water during wet weather, but for the most part, uh, give beachreportcard.org a check and uh, make sure that your beach is getting a good grade before you get into the water. No local beaches made the list of the state's most polluted. That includes past beach bummers, La Jolla Cove and Mission Bay. San Diego's South County beaches also got good dry weather grades, but surf writers Gabriela Torres says that ignores the serious cross-border pollution problem. My first impression is that we're incredibly shocked that uh, this beaches in Imperial Beach uh, are not on the bummer list. It's not a list that we, we would like necessarily usually for our beaches to be on. However, the sewage issue, it's, it's really impacting the area and it continues to impact the area. Clean water groups say that information is really the best piece of equipment that you can bring to the beach. Now, finding out whether or not there is pollution at the beach that you plan to go to or finding out if it's a beach that's prone to pollution, whether or not it's open and facing the ocean. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.